Hey everybody. This time around the question is, how can I let go? And this is a big deal. I mean, I think so often we're taught that you should be as responsible for as many things as you can. We're taught that retail therapy is a thing. You need to acquire things. If you have a problem in your life, you need to grab onto something. You know, we're taught that in so many ways. We're marketed that in so many ways over and over again. It's a sign of a good, responsible person if they can be responsible for a lot of things. And you know as well as I do, if there's something going on in your life that you don't want to deal with, one way to not deal with it is to add some other things to your to-do list. Yeah, my life is falling apart, but I did the dishes and I painted a fence, shined my shoes, you know what I mean. So it's easy to grab on. And yet we know that there's a real spiritual virtue wrapped up in the power of letting go. We know that the universe is really good at taking care of its own, as I always say. We know that spirit is in charge and to the degree that we get out of the way and surf that wave instead of paddling against the current, things tend to work out. So how do we let go? Great question, and I actually got it from a number of different people in the last few weeks because I've been talking about releasing and being open to change and all that kind of thing. I think that part of it is that we're told that a good person, a healer, a loving person, a spiritual person, that kind of thing, is someone who can fix things. You know, so I can't let go of this broken situation in my life because I want to be the one who fixes it. Isn't that how I show that I'm spiritually cool or whatever? That can go to an ego place really quick. But even if that's not the deal, just the basic idea of I don't want to let go of this because I don't want to give up. I want to fix this. And I get that. I've felt that way many times in my life. And I'm sure you have too. So let me be really clear about this. You ready? You don't fix anything. You don't fix anything any more than the surgeon fixes. They make cuts, the body heals. You know what I mean? And as it turns out, everything's a little bit like that. Inherent in every person, place, and thing, and situation, and you name it, inherent, built in, baked in, is the power to heal and grow. You don't fix. Your job is to get the broken things out of the way so that the natural healing, the natural fix, can happen. God, in other words, does the fixing. Your job is debris removal. And so if your basic idea is, I can't let go because I have to fix this, let's change that paradigm. You don't have to fix it. You have to get out of the way of it. And that is a profoundly different idea. So think about those people and places and things and situations and you name it in your life that you're having trouble letting go of and understand that it is not your job to be the source of their success or happiness or love. And in fact, that's pretty dysfunctional if you think about it. If we're in a, a, a romantic relationship and I say, I am the source of all love for you, that gets weird quick. That gets ego-y and bizarre really quick, doesn't it? It's not okay. Love, rather, is the song that we're both dancing to, as we like to say. You know, that's kind of how it works. So think about those people, places, things, situations, and recognize that within them is the power for healing. Within them is the potential for victory. Within them is the fix. It's already there. The solution is baked into the problem if you learn how to look at it in a slightly different way. So how do you let go? Well, here's the deal. You're going to have to. And you do it by starting to see those things as already successful. It's amazing. Just that little change of vision, that little change of attitude, that little change of feeling can have incredible results because at the end of the day, you're getting out of the way. But here's the catch. Here's where the dog catches his tail. When you really let go of something in trust that you've gotten all the junk out of the way, in trust that the universe takes care of its own, in trust that God's in charge of this, not you, when you really let go of it, something amazing happens. You find out that everything is inextricably connected to everything else. There is only one presence and one power in this universe. In other words, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. And so when you really truly let go of something, seemingly paradoxically, what you find out is you never really had to release it. It's part of you. So if you're worried about losing something, 
You need to let it go so that you can find out that you're connected to it. Isn't that wonderful? And if you really think about your life, there have been examples of this, romantic and interpersonal and career and money. And you've had examples of you finally released something only to find out that it was really part of you in beautiful ways that you weren't seeing because you were so busy latching on. You have my permission to not fix, but rather to clear the way for something bigger. And to the degree that you do, life gets better for everybody involved. And we're all in this together, so everybody involved includes an awful lot of people. Thanks for sending in the question. Thanks for letting go of what you need to let go of. Thanks for keeping the questions coming. You can do that by uh, sending a message on my website, waypastok.com, by posting a, a social me media thing to Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag AskDieter. I'll be watching. I want to remind you one more time that my new book, Meaning Fulfilled, is available on Amazon and everywhere else. Go to waypastok.com and look at the books page to get your copy. It's a big deal and it's going to change things for you. Overall and above all, thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing these videos. It means everything. You got this.